Rugby of Culture, 1990, and of course, Glasgow's home. Wet, wet, wet. Lads. Watch out. All right? No bad, yourself. Just, just wanted to check. No. <laughs> out there is Clyde Bank. Yes, if you're right in the background there is Clyde Bank, where we actually grew, we actually grew up. Yeah, there you are. And it's looking very good, actually, in the sun, actually. So what does Glasgow being European City of Culture mean to you, Graham? Uh, well, apart from the, the, the things that it's bringing to Glasgow, you know, like the operas and the ballets and all that sort of thing. Song. Yeah, all, all, all sort of cultural things, you know. But I think what it means to me is the actual culture in the city itself, coming from the people from the city. And uh, but that can be anything, you know, like from music, art, I, I don't know, anything. Football. Football, you know. Everything just, just of course, people. If we look at back there, we can see both Ibrox and Parkhead. Yeah. Absolutely, two, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, two great Scottish teams. And Clyde. Partick Thistle. Oh, yeah. Not forgetting Partick Thistle, yeah. They're a good team. Much as we try. I forgot yeah. to actually see Aberdeen as well. <laughs> <laughs> just don't right, and the distance there. <laughs> and of course, with Glasgow being European city of culture, there are just so many different things happening, exhibitions for you to see. How about the Art Machine? A hands-on exhibition about the future of art for children. That's at the McClellan Galleries in Socky Hall Street. When you've made your masterpieces, you can then hang them in the Art Lover's House, which is only now just being built in Bella Houston Park. It's one of Charles Rennie McIntosh's most celebrated designs. And the Glasgow School of Art, which was also designed by Charles Rennie McIntosh, that is where photographer Thomas Joshua Cooper works. And his current exhibition at the City Art Gallery looks at the coast of Scotland. Finally, don't miss the colourful Chinese Boat Race Festival. That is happening next week, Ken. Down at the Clyde, please bring your own chopsticks. But there is something you want to show me, isn't there? That's right. I, 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 <laughs> that's the main <laughs> reason. Without laughing. Yeah, that's why we're up here, actually. Yes. We want to show you something. Um, just over here, there's a very special exhibition. Uh, we'll take you down there and it'll show you in more detail what Glasgow is all about. And here we are. Glasgow's <laughs> Glasgow <laughs> exhibition. Isn't this absolutely amazing? It is a brilliant exhibition. And look there is a platinum disc for popped in soul dies. That's one for 600,000 copies. It is? Yes, yes, but it's actually went uh, quintuple platinum. Oh, it has? It's like a, a million and a half now. The 815 always likes to get the facts. As we look in here at Glasgow's Glasgow exhibition, the most amazing array of uh, old singles. Yeah. Some of your contemporaries up there as well, Graham, yeah? There's a few up there. There's um, John Martin, Blue Nile, Bluebells, Delamitri, some oranges. Green's Playhouse in Glasgow, which has got up there Jimi Hendrix, the move, Pink Floyd oh, as Jimmy well. Oh, Jimmy McHendrix. Oh, Jimmy, the, the well-known Scott is Jimmy McHendrix, so I got him confused with the other Jimmy Hendrix there. Yeah. Green's Playhouse, which then became the Glasgow Apollo, which was one of, well, in fact, probably the most famous theatre. Yeah, so, I mean, I can remember go going there when I was younger, I went and saw people from David Bowie to uh, the Ramones, you know? The Osmonds? No, I didn't see no, the Osmonds. No, no, I didn't see Gary Glitter either, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I remember, and it made me realise that that's what I wanted to do was, like, be on stage and play my guitar, yeah, be, be in a rock band, yeah. So that is uh, Glasgow, the music scene. Well, a little bit of it. And uh, let's go and find something else. Let's go. Let's go. So to shipbuilding and Glide Bank, which of course is your home. And what do you remember about the shipbuilding days? Do you remember anything? Um, it really, when we were still at school, the ships were still being built. Um, but at the age of 14, that's when disaster struck and like they started closing down. When we eventually left school, yep. age 16, that had all finished. So the school gates opened and we went to the unemployment. And that, that was the only, the only escapism for us at that time was music, you know. And, and we actually do write a lot of songs about shipbuilding, funny enough. Ah. The grandfathers and the fathers who went and they, they worked very, very hard. And they got, they got the houses and they, they educated their kids very well. And it's now the kids in Clyde Bank that, that are sort of keeping, in, keeping the industry ticking over. You know, it's small businesses. It, the average businessman is now our age, you know, uh, 18. <laughs> believe that, you believe anything. But now, what? the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, uh, Your chance to uh, launch a ship. We'd actually like to uh, name this ship Holding Back the River and uh, God bless all who's sailing her. It's, did they break? That's because it's metal. <laughs> And now, with the aid of Neil and Graham, we find out how the Scots emigrated to Canada. Graham. Okay. Many Glaswegians, come on, come on, <laughs> emigrated That's to good. the new world, the ships return. Here they are. Here they are. Ships returning. Yes, with. With raw goods. 
I think you've got a great feature in reading the autocue there. Yeah. And in fact, Glaswegians have made their mark all over the world, and those achievements are here for all to see. It's much more than just an exhibition. It's essentially an entertainment. Performers and pictures, soundtracks and cinemas, all combine to create a whole day's worth of fascinating sights and sounds that make up Glasgow's Glasgow. Sing him a wee song. Sing him a wee song. Who's your favourite band? Excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> and here's one I pinched earlier. Yes, it is in fact an original, an authentic wet, wet, wet gold is for holding back the river. Now then, you want it? I thought you might want it. Well, it could be yours, and all you've got to do is write in and tell us why you should have it. Why should you have this wet, wet, wet gold disc? Go on there. That's all you have to do. And the address, as always, is the wet, wet, wet gold disc, 815 from Manchester, PO Box 815, Manchester M60 1 SJ. That's the wet gold disc, 815 from Manchester, PO Box 815, Manchester M60 1 SJ. And of course, not forgetting, stay with me, Heartache, the new single and the new video with you a little bit later on.